So I have open source video editor on my screen and I have already imported two clips here. The window looks like this. It may be a bit different on your screen, but if you want to see the different views available, you can go to view, then views, then you can opt for any view you want. So let us stick with this one. I will just close the properties window. So we have these uh, clips here and the transitions and the tracks here and the video will display here. Okay. So let me first uh, select every clip and put it on a track. Then I will go to the next clip and put it here. There is some gap in between. That is fine. So now we will do transitions. So for that, I will select the next clip, the second clip and drag it over the first clip a little bit. Okay. And leave it. Now, as you can see, there is a small bar here, which is actually a transition effect. The default transition effect created by OpenSub Video Editor. So let us see what is this transition is and I will right click on I will click on it and it will run okay it is just fading out that is the trans default transition effect okay the transition is working properly now what to do if we need a different transition should we go for these transitions here and drag them down uh, the better option is to just select the current transition right click go to the properties and go to the source here right click on it go to transitions then select any transition that you want from this list i will choose swipe right to left and then i will read uh, we'll play the video again let us see if it works right so it is working so it is working fine and that is how transitions are done in OpenSearch video editor. Now I could have selected this transition in between these two clips and put it there. But there is a reason I am not doing that. It is because in such cases mostly what happens is that if you are not experienced enough then if you drag a transition from here down here then it is not inserted properly. I mean like the position and starting and ending position, length etc. So you will find it hard to make it work. So a lot of people actually complain that the latest version of open source video editor is not working, but that is not the case. Actually, it needs a little bit of practice to get the effects working. So I suggest that you use the default transition effect and then you can change it from the properties panel. You can also change the brightness and contrast, the duration and all these properties okay and you can also create a custom video uh, sorry custom transition effect uh, but that is a topic for another video thank you for watching